Well, hello there. Thank you for joining us here at Coolest Life. My name is Tony. This is Church Edition. We're here at Community Life Church, the big place right there, um, here in Port Charlotte, Florida. So we're going to go into this church and take a look around and bring you along with us. I'll show you a little bit about the church and uh, some of the maybe the maybe a little bit about music, a little bit about the message, and and give us give you our thoughts at the end. So be sure to stay tuned for that. And also, we've got a whole slew of churches, about thirty that we've done reviews of since we've been traveling all up and down the East Coast. So come join us as you've just entered the Coolest Life Church Edition. like the opening. Just like checking the kids over here. It's got a big entryway. Love the ceilings. New member checking us. My wife there to the left. And looks like they got a little cafe there to the left also. Even further to the left. Nice big open area. Don't see this a whole lot uh, when you come to most churches as far as a nice big open area where you mix and mingle before you go into church service. So going to the main sanctuary and look at the ceiling. This is cool. It goes along with the outside theme, which is a great big, large point. The room is not full of chairs. I guess they want people to really sit toward the front. They do only have one service, which is at 1045. But this is a, you really hear the music thumping. This is a big room. We'll start service about four minutes. They were showing some videos of, uh, they got a food pantry and some different things here. So, uh, trying to do some good community stuff. Look how high that stage is. See, that stage is at least four feet tall. But, uh, anyway. Come on, if you want to stand up on your feet, let's lift up both hands and say hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's say praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Father God, we come into this house today to welcome. Because God just, he says, 
love people and love God. And the Word does tell us to do that. But, and, and that's true. But we are not to love. We are not to embrace. We are not to support sinful lifestyles. You can love and still disagree. You can love and yet not compromise. You can love and yet embrace. If you embrace what is contrary to God's word, then you lose everything that God is saying. You don't have to be mean. You don't have to be rude. You don't even have to be ugly about it. You can say what you need to say in love. But progressive Christians believe, they also believe in the authority of the scriptures as we do. But however, they claim the scripture is misused. In James chapter 4 and verse 4, he said, You adulterous people, don't you know that the friendship with the world is hatred towards God? Anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. I don't want to have God as my enemy. I want to be a friend of God. How many want to be a friend? Listen to what Psalm 11 verse 3 says. It says, when the foundations are being destroyed, what can the righteous do? It leads to hatred and anxiety and resentment and cruelty and sin and brutality and addictions. Obedience to His Word sets us free. Devotion in my life is my prayer and the reading of His Word. You need to be careful what you open your heart and your mind to. Because things can sound like it's, it's okay. But line it up. Go back to God's Word. Let God's Word be the standard for your life. If we filled up a little bit more here toward the end, I want to show you the soundboard area. Information center there. He almost did invitation at 40 in, but kind of fell short from it. But still a good service. She got together in small groups and prayed. It was kind of neat, something different. Well, that was the end of that service. Um, could be different. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's so much as the message as, as it is the, the delivery for me. Um, I don't know, I think to each his own as far as. Uh, the different deliveries of different pastors. Some are more of a monologue, which is kind of what we're used to, and some are more of a dialogue, which is what, kind of what this was. And I really like the pastor uh, in a sense that when he stayed on topic and his message, I really liked. And then he would step away and kind of do his own thing, and it was more of an uh, evangelistic kind of delivery. Um, a little bit of yelling kind of thing. So, But, you know, as I... I, I as I said, to each his own. So that's not something we're really all that used to. And I don't know. I don't particularly care for that kind of delivery. But again, the message was great. So we definitely enjoyed that. Um, so uh, if you want to come to this church, come on out to this church here in Port Charlotte. Be sure to like and subscribe because we are now leaving. The coolest life. Church edition. <laughs>